This video is going to be about the three TV shows that I follow. Watch right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Yeah! <laughs> So I'm totally in the mood to make a video for you guys because I literally just finished a promo video for a, a Beijing, uh, just Beijing city I think in general. Um, so basically our professor a few days ago he was like, could you come to a fake lesson where I teach you guys some Chinese, some Chinese, I don't know, I think it was a Confucian saying or something which was really cool. So what I wanted to say was just that we made this really cool video. Without further ado, let's just get started on this video, shall we? I didn't even present what it's going to be about. I'm sorry guys, I'm totally like all over the place like I am most of the time actually. <laughs> This video is going to be about the three TV shows that I follow. Watch right now the ch three Chinese TV shows, of course. So if you're looking for some new stuff to watch, you should check out one of these three because they're kind of cool. So the first one is a really popular kind of girlish TV series. I thought I wanted to watch it after I read a blog post about it. It said, oh yeah, this is kind of like Sex and the City, but in a more Chinese style way. So basically it's about four girls living in a bush. Three girls living in one apartment, one in the other apartment and one in the other part of right. So three apartments, five girls. It's really really cool. They're following their lives, everyday lives and like dating and job and issues and it's very very contemporary Chinese society and each of these girls they come from different social backgrounds. So it's very interesting because you get to know a lot of the things that the Chinese people, especially young people, are concerned about these days, which I think is awesome. And they speak normal Chinese language, which is also really cool, so you can get some slang from there as well, some fancy, some new modern language. How cool is that? I know. Woo! And also the Chinese TV shows, they're just as long as the Korean ones, so you can watch forever. You can binge watch for a lifetime and you're never gonna finish. <laughs> yes, I know. It's both a curse and a blessing. Huan Le Song is really cool. Check it out. Second is a talk show. So in Chinese this is called Tuo Kou Xiu. Tuo Kou Xiu. Yes. Um, and the one I like to watch right now is like kind of a like a comedian talking about different topics in Chinese. Basically it's a team of like five different people. Sometimes they swap but usually it's the same guys. And the talk show, I should probably tell you what it's called. <laughs> it's called Ba Ling Ho. So after the 80s, so the people born after 80. Ba Ling Ho Tuo Kou Xiu. So you should check that one out. I watched it on ITE, one of the Chinese video channels or like apps. You can find it. You can download it for your phone and for a computer and iPad. It's really, really cool. You can watch whatever you feel like there. There's a lot of English stuff as well. If you don't feel like watching Chinese for a bit, that's totally cool too. But yeah, so I tried to watch this because they make a lot of jokes and <clears throat> basically each episode is like 40 minutes and I laugh maybe once or twice. <laughs> that's how little I understand. Either it's the language because they speak too fast or it's just the understanding or like I don't think it's funny And then you're probably wondering why is Ling Ling watching it? Well, the thing is that I want to learn more about Chinese culture and Chinese humor And I actually do think some of it is funny if I just understand what they're saying And also afterwards if I'm going to talk or when I talk to my Chinese friends, you know It's, it's a good idea to learn how to understand when people speak really fast So yeah, it's a bunch of different guys. They're just uh, making fun and talking 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 with different punchlines all the time and what I do is I have one finger on the space button on the keyboard and then I just stop all the time <laughs> yeah it doesn't sound like a lot of fun but that's how you do it when you're studying right so basically I'm like holding it and then I'm just like yeah yeah and then boom and I stop it and I'm like what is that character I don't know I'm gonna look it up ah oh, ha 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 not funny <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically how it goes when I watch the talk show in Chinese. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be better at some point, but you know, right now I'm just exercising my listening skills because they're not amazing. I'm talking too much, obviously not listening enough. So yeah, <clears throat> that is the second one. Ba Ling Ho Tuo 
脱口秀 Number three on the list. Number three on the list is a really cool one. It's called 世界青年说 So basically, it's a panel of I think it's twelve foreign guys from all over the world. Their Chinese is amazing. When I hear them talk, I'm just like, oh my god, I need to learn to speak like that. It's amazing. So basically, they have different topics as well, and then they discuss a lot and like they make fun. And sometimes it's a little over the top. And when I say sometimes, I mean. A lot, but it's one of the better shows because they still think in a foreign way, if that makes sense. So some of them are from America, from Germany, from Iran, I think, in Thailand and Australia. Like it's really, really cool. It's just a mix of a lot of different guys. And again, they're doing a lot of jokes, and it's more understandable for me because of the Western way of thinking, and a really good way to practice my Chinese. It doesn't feel like such a long thing to watch before. When I watch these different TV shows, I was just like. 40 minutes of my time, like that's long. But these、uh, guys are really good at making it more fun and more interesting. So you should definitely check that one out as well. So that was all for today's video, guys. TV show talk shows in Chinese. What I'm watching right now. If you have any recommendations, please let me know below. And also, I'm gonna write the names of the different TV shows in the description box so you can check that out as well. And remember to also give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling. Subscribe button just here, and follow me on social media because I put a lot of really cool stuff out on Facebook. I think it's cool, anyways. So check out Lena around on Facebook and Instagram as well, so we can all be friends everywhere on social media. It could be really cool, and I'm excited to hear from you and your recommendations for other TV shows. And I hope you're having a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again very, 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 very soon. Lily, see ya, and see ya. Bye bye.